we all know that uh, the Masinga Dam, uh, where we are today, already is uh, overflowing. And uh, we expect that uh, the last dam downstream, which is Kiambere, would, be, would also start overflowing uh, in uh, a matter of hours, if not days. And what that means is that uh, the communities uh, that live uh, downstream in the Tana Delta, particularly the counties of uh, Garissa and uh, Tana River, are at uh, very great risk of being displaced uh, with a lot of uh, casualties if uh, adequate precaution and care is not taken. And therefore we are basically sounding an alarm and asking the communities uh, in the two counties uh, particularly that uh, they listen and uh, take heed of the advisory that we are giving today that they need to relocate and our officers are on the ground. Uh, we have uh, the teams uh, that are led by the National Government Administration officers. So in Tana River, there is a county commissioner and his team of uh, officers from all the other government agencies. And the same case uh, in, in, in Garissa County. And we are appealing to the public that uh, they listen to those advisories. And uh, we have uh, emergency teams Similar to what we did uh, during the prolonged or uh, increased rainfall that we received uh, towards the end of last year. At the national level, we have set up uh, the National uh, Emergency Response Center uh, under the leadership of the National uh, Disaster Operations Center, which is based at Nyayo House. And that uh, center has all the agencies uh, from all the ministries uh, represented the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Energy, the Ministry of Roads, uh, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of uh, ASAL and Regional Development, alongside uh, development partners as well as uh, non-state actors, so that we are able to coordinate uh, emergency response and actions, uh, not just uh, in the lower Delta region, but across the country, because the increased transport is being experienced um, literally in every part of the country. Of course, the most affected uh, is uh, the central region as well as uh, the western part of the country and the coastal region. So the plea to the Kenyans is that uh, let's uh, work closely with these uh, agencies and the leaders who are helping us uh, with uh, these emergency uh, rescue operations. Now, the second thing is uh, we are looking at the long-term uh, solution to a number of these uh, uh, disasters that we continue to experience as a country, more so on account of uh, increased rainfalls. And uh, CS uh, Energy has spoken to the planned development of the high ground falls, which will help uh, in mitigating uh, the effect of uh, the overflow that we already are experiencing from the from the dams uh, along the the the, 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 Tana, the Tana Basin or the Tana, Tana River. The third thing is that uh, there is a, a very good chance that there would be uh, waterborne diseases uh, on account of, uh, of the increased rainfall and, and flooding. And uh, we need to take uh, the necessary precautions so that then we don't lose lives uh, that uh, we can uh, prevent. Uh, basically that is why we are here and uh, it's uh, again an appeal to all of us to disseminate information and when we are in distress uh, we will share also the toll-free number for purposes of uh, coordinating and also raising alarm so that our officers uh, can be able to, to support. And lastly I want to appreciate uh, the team uh, uh, particularly the DCC of uh, Masinga and uh, Embu sub-counties for the work that they are continuing to do in this, uh, in this area. And uh, I appeal to the public to work very closely with them. And we will be monitoring and issuing updates uh, as and when it becomes uh, necessary uh, from our National uh, Emergency Response Center. It's good news that we did not have to forcefully evict uh, or uh, push people away from uh, the flood prone areas. And for me, it's a good thing that Kenyans uh, 
uh, are very understanding and they appreciate uh, what uh, we do as government and also they also care a lot about their lives. So my expectation is that uh, even uh, with these prolonged rains and increased rains, uh, when uh, people have to move, we will not uh, need, there will be no need for us to use, uh, to use force uh, to, to, to evacuate or to move people. Tunajua mashule zimefungwa, watoto ama wanafunzi wako manyumbani. Lakini kwa wiki mbili ijayo, uh, mashule zitakuwa zina, zinafunguliwa. So chenye tunafanya kama serikali, uh, sana sana kupitia wizara ya elimu. Ni kuangalia ni vipi, uh, atuta kuwa na uharibifu zaidi wa uh, infrastructure. Lakini penye kutakuwa na uharibifu, then uh, katika hiyo kitengo yenye nimezungumzia ya the Disaster Operation Center for Emergency Response, tutatafuta mbinu uh, anda kama ni fedha ama kusaidiana na wizara ya elimu. Venye tulifanya ile wakati ya El Nino, tutazidi ku, 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 kufanya hivyo. So that uh, wazazi na wanafunzi wasikue na wasiwasi. Ikifika wakati wa kurudi kwa mashule, eh, tutakikisha that kila mwanafunzi amerudi ame kwa, kwa shule.